in the previous video. Our vampire Jonta defeats and turns McCollum into a vampire. Then he saves Swansea and embraces him. Jonta then looks for Lady Ashbury to speak to her. This is where Jonta's night begins. I talk to Lady Ashbury. Burry. Ashbury. Burry. Whatever. Whatever, 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 whatever. I, I think I'm almost close to beating this game, guys. I have no clue. It's kind of sad that I had to do that to Dr. Swansea. Put him out of his injuries. Huh. Just ran around in circles. Okay. The stage is set. A lot of stuff unfolded like I'm finding out like a lot of stuff like oh man I did not know that So Harriet Jones became the original carrier when Edgar gave her vampire blood. Oh, I must tell Elizabeth. Oh man. No way. This one's a top. My lady, is this your mansion? It has to be hers. Now bring it. Lady Ashbury? Personal diary. I'll read it another time, guys. She's probably upstairs. Oh, I can't use my health thingy. She's painting. Or drawing. What good fortune brings you back to me, Jonathan? What is it, my dear? I'm afraid it's bad news, Elizabeth. The worst, actually. Please, speak up. Edgar is no longer in McCullum's grasp. I resolved that matter. Where is our good friend now? Is he well? He was mortally wounded. I put an end to his misery. That is terrible, Jonathan. And yet you did what you must. Poor man. Edgar Swansea was responsible for the Skull epidemic, Elizabeth. It was he who unleashed the deadly scourge upon London. What? Are you certain? This is the most terrible accusation of all. He confessed everything to me. He sought to cure the disease, to exploit vampire blood to stop the epidemic. But he unwittingly gave birth to a catastrophe. All those poor victims. How could he do it? What happened? Yeah, he gave no heed to ethics. Oh man, I want to say he was this. I don't. I don't want to say he was this too. He gave no heed to ethics. Uh, I guess Edgar gave no heed to ethics. 
His theory could have been proven to be correct, but he abused the confidence of his patients to test it. I must say, I'm shocked, Jonathan. Who would have thought it? And the poor patient. Let me guess. It was Harriet Jones, was it not? Yes. That explains how Doris Fletcher was infected, and how she became an icor. She secretly visited her mother at Pembroke. Then we have no choice. We must act quickly, Jonathan. We must return to the sewers and put an end to the threat poor Harriet embodies. I have one more matter to discuss with you. Harriet Jones was the primary case, but... Do you know what a healthy carrier is? There is a tone in your voice that frightens me, Jonathan. What are you trying to say? It was your blood Edgar used for his experiment on Harriet Jones. What? She seems shocked. No. No. This can't be. Oh, God. Elizabeth. Are you all right? Uh, no, I have to go. What do you mean? Leave me alone. Save the city, Jonathan. Save what can be saved. Elizabeth, I need answers. Why did your blood Stay cause Stay away this? from me. Please. I swear, I never was your Wait. enemy. Wait. No. Elizabeth. Hmm. Something's up. I don't like any one bit of it. Now would be a good time to blend the rest. I gave it even in here. Good evening, Lord Redgrave. Welcome, Lance Bearer. To what do we owe this pleasure? I've located the true origin of the epidemic. And I'm about to end it. All is already lost. The city verges on collapse. The epidemic has spread so widely. Disgusting scowls are everywhere. The epidemic could be stemmed if I destroy the original carrier. England can be saved, but only with Marshall's blood. Blood of William Marshall? Of my maker? Are you mad? This blood is the purest of all. My maker profited to me on the battlefield. I cannot hand it to you. This is more important than the club you or me. This is London's last hope. I see. Well, in that case, given the gravity of the situation, I suppose I can spare you a drop. Thank you, my lord. Now go, Lance Bearer. Craft a legend to be sung to Ascalon recruits for the ages to come. Hmm. All right. Let's see where this other one is. OMG. Why are you so far? Well, guys, it's time to head over there. I don't trust this, so. I make the white chapel. This city. 
Dude, he's already lost, man. This very gate? No, 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 no. I don't want to do anything that involves coming back here. McCollum, you got it. Hey, sir, can I talk to you? Oh, I didn't mean to attack you. I was just Good evening, talk. vampire hunter. Are you here to mock me, Reed? Not at all, McCollum. I am here because I need you. Really? I'm intrigued. Speak up, then. I need the blood of a king. The blood of Arthur. I'm certain you possess it, and I must have it. The guard's most sacred and precious relic. Why would you... Ah. Uh, you found Marshall's memoirs. Or should have destroyed that book. I need the antidote to save this city, McCollum. It is within me to take your words as truth. I want to. But I must know more. What precisely are your plans? I have found the carrier, McCullum. The infection's source. It may be science or some supernatural power that's responsible for all this. But I will harness either or both to end the epidemic. A vampire doctor. My god, you're a terrifying creature. Jonathan Emmett Reed. Do you not understand? We wanted the same thing from the outset. A means to end this vampire epidemic. Not enemies. Maybe that is so. Take it then. I see no other hope for this city. If this is some trick, you will be damned, Dr. Reed. Thank you. And farewell, McCullum. Unbelievable as it is. I wish you good luck, Reed. So, last stop to the hospital. I can't believe I had to travel to the cemetery. <sighs> Just trying to gain some help. That's gonna happen. Die, vermin! Come on. the hospital. Oh man. I'm broke hospital. I cannot use garlic, but there may be a substitute in the Pembroke Hospital drug storage. I'll be up. 
upstairs. Yeah, it's not gonna be any this spot. It's gonna be in a spot where there. Have a guard. Best run along home, sir. It's one of them. There it is. Insulin. Much more efficient than garlic against blood poisoning and sepsis, and much less dangerous for me. Thank you, Dr. Polescu. Now, I get the heck out of here. I gotta find a hideout. Probably gonna head back to the Pembroke Hospital. I ain't going that way. Nope, definitely not there. seems stable time to go and find Harriet in the sewers all right guys we're gonna stop there next time we come back we're gonna go to the sewers test out this bad boy find Harriet Jones see what happens I feel like we're getting very close to the end so I hope you guys stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy the video and everyone stay safe all right see you guys next time so Jonathan makes the best antidote he could with all the bloods and he heads to see Harriet Jones in the sewers. What will Jonathan Connor next? Who will he meet? To be continued.